my last NTFS video was uh, quite popular it seems I don't know why probably because I went to a place of madness I didn't think possible but thank you very much for all the support and as promised I said if it gets over a hundred likes I will uh, come back to this and make it work so as a man of his word I will indeed do that now it's time for a battle of epic proportions let us begin man versus machine we shall not drag or fail we shall go on to the end we shall fight in France we shall fight on the seas and oceans we shall fight with, with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. We shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills, we shall never surrender! Oh wait, I am a Gen 2 YouTuber. Um, right, let's begin. So, with um, some of my own ideas about getting in it Ram FS to work with this and some extra ones you left in the comments, which I'm very grateful for, I think I know how to get this working now. Um, rather than making my own init ram fs i'm going to use a tool called erg i don't know if that's how you pronounce it it's u r g d uh, made by zen and uh, he's been shilling this program to me for quite a while now so i believe it might be the first time it could come in handy so i've installed that using the guru system um for non gen 2 users it's basically like aur for gen 2 a quick look at the uh, documentation and see if we can add ntfs uh, um, loading uh, to that So let's add here. Okay, let's try this. Okay, no, I'm the first person to ever try adding this support. Let's see how it goes. Well, apparently if you do print print config it will show if it works it looks like we're going to be all right so let's edit grub to do it we'll do it the cheaty way that should work let's give it a go Um, unknown file system. Perfect. I wonder if the kernel has it built support or not after last time. No, it should do because we're using the Gen 2 kernel this time. Is it because I don't have it mounted in TFS? Okay, there we go. Mm -hmm. There we go, there we go. User bin slash this root. Look, it's there. So if I do exit now. Okay. Okay. So we know it works. What we're missing is support for the module in this Intip Ram FS. So let's switch back to the live CD, fix that. Alright. 
right, if we do nano slash etc. We'll add under here. Oh, wait, K mod in it is apparently what we need. So I do love it when you haven't got to care about the system working afterwards and you can just do really quick hacks to make it work. I'm probably uh, setting someone off though by doing all this. I do apologise for any for any OCDs that I am destroying. Let's do the F stab this time now. Let's try it. No. It needs to size and right now. Okay. What if I just do a switch route? can't go because I think I've overwritten the binaries. Well, I've probably overwritten with that binaries command. You know what? I think this might work with draw cut now though. So let's reboot into the C uh, the live CD then and then we'll add the fuse driver. So if I do that Fuse. Let's see what else is loaded. It's got fuse there. Okay, now that looks good. So if I copy that over. So if we reboot this time. Oh! We're only damn damn in the read-only file system, and I haven't set the fucking root password. But we're in. Can we log in? Seems like we're in read-only at the moment. And I can't log in. Okay, so we've got this working, well, we've got this booting, but we can't log in at the moment. My idea is we could either do a lot of scripting and stuff, or we could just set up auto login and see what's going on properly. So I think that's what we're going to do. So if we take a look at the live CD in init tab gonna see down the bottom here we've got the auto login believe yes it's these ones here so if we copy and paste that in too if we try reboot now this should should work even with a blank password, that's not working. Right, let's take a quick look at the permissions. Options, then. It's time to put up the big guns and make up our own RamFS, I think.
Okay, so we've got our kernel done. Let's now build it. Right, let's try a reboot again now. Edit. Is this going to be the Wonder Boots? <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Hmm. I wonder if I force it to rewrite. No, still rewriting it. Wonder if we try just mount booting normally. Let's think here. Let's try this. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Respawn. Respawn. Hey, Getty. So, login, root, no clear, three eight four zero zero TTY one. It's done. Oh. Ah, I think I see why. Oh, I think I can just do this. Auto login root. Okay. And then we'll see update add yeah. Getty. Default. Okay, is this gonna work? Oh, okay, so that's close. It can't be set directly, but you can do it. Okay, I see, I see. Alright, copy. Get in and get yeah. Oh, I log in there. Then I'll see update add. Okay, will that now work? Logged in, I think. Shit, I logged in first. And no, unfortunately, I can get the system to boot, but I can't get it to log in. So I think this is a failure, but I like to think I've kept the spirit of my thing of getting a system to actually boot with NTFS, just not very well. You are technically correct. The best kind of correct. But thank you again for all the support you've given me, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this once again trip into insanity of trying to make an NTFS bootable Linux system. I'll catch you on the next one when we see if we can think of something a little bit more saner to do. Keep compiling, everyone.